Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this one, I wanted to use an ARM template to deploy some resources within the Azure. And I just came to uh, the free uh, quick start templates that are available from Azure, uh, Microsoft.com. Uh, they're also available on the GitHub. And this particular template is about secure, uh, deploying a secure VM password with, uh, with, a, with a key vault. Now, this is not something that I developed. This is already something uh, somebody else developed. In this case, Brian Moore has developed this uh, and it looks like last up, up, updated uh, July 1st. So when you, you can still use these templates and make sure that it meets your requirement. If there's something that you, you need to change to fit your requirement, you feel free to do that. So there's a little description of this, this particular template file, ARM template. This template allows you to deploy a simple Windows VM by retrieving the password that is stored in a key vault. So when you create your virtual machine, typically you would create a, a, a password, okay? So in this template, you don't have to do that. You're securing your password by creating a key vault in the first place. So therefore, the password is never put in plain text in the template parameter file. That's an excellent thing to do. Okay, so what are the parameters here? Are the parameters that uh, uh, you need to fill out, and to deploy this, it's it's as easy as just click clicking on the deploy to Azure button. If you already logged in, it will just create it will land you to that uh, window where you just need to configure a few things sometimes, and then just say yeah, go ahead and deploy it. Uh, here they are asking us to switch to directory, and that's right because that was not the right directory so this is the directory where i have the deployment uh, permissions so right over here what do you say subscription is the right subscription resource group i can create a resource group um, uh, so password from key vault okay that's the resource group that i'm creating i'm gonna I like uh, the location. Now this is interesting. This is still asking me that uh, to provide a username and admin password. I was hoping that they will not ask the <laughs> password. So let's go back in here. Let's take a look at one more time. So this Azure Resource Manager template was created. So this is not the template also deploys the machine retrieving the password that is stored in the key vault. Therefore, the password is never put in plain text in the template parameter file. But looks like this is asking me for the for the parameter file, right? Uh, use the template. So we can also use the template using a command line, name, resource group, location, and uh, so here they're saying. here it's not asking me for the password since what, what i want to do in this one in particular one because i really don't want to provide the password let's uh before we do too much okay where were we we were here so instead of giving them this what i want to do i want to create i want to open up the as you see or the parcel doesn't matter uh, I have both so let's stick to the parcel in this case and the one that we're looking at is this so resource group name so let's get the first first one so come back to over here paste the command and just give a give a location I wanna do east us okay so I'm just setting the east us and I'm just uh, gonna create a resource group I'll just let's call it just test rg okay so that's the resource group that's gonna be created in the east us so that's fine that command I have no trouble and is this command let's copy that one and again go back to your PowerShell so here you just need to do a couple of things uh, first of all here 
I want to change that to test RG. That's the resource group that we have created. Yeah, so you can do tab complete on that one just to make sure you have everything right. Uh, now this particular template URI, so it's gonna go to GitHub, get that. So let's try. Let's hit enter. See what happens. Uh, right over here is also asking admin username so let's try and it's uh, unfortunately it's also asking this admin password so sometimes we use a crazy password uh, let's uh, let's try let's try using this one this one should be good let's uh, save it here so we don't forget what we're using uh, then just put it over here best and now the deployment has started this is a little weird because I was hoping that it will actually create a, a key wall in that key wall it creates um, the password it stores the password and then um, when we try to log in it will go and get the password from the key wall so what as this is going on we can actually go inside this um, resource group that we have just created and see at least it's trying to create a, 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 a key vault for us or not so use the resource groups there should be one that should say test rg here test rg okay so we are inside here and let's see what it's creating it's creating most of the stuff that we need storage account but I still don't see a key vault so let's give it a minute and see what it's doing because I was expecting a little bit different than uh, what it's doing at that moment okay so let's uh, give it just a second and as soon as it's done we'll come back and we'll take a look into this particular resource group more closely and uh, verify whether we have it, it has created a new key fall actually you know what I can also go to key fall and see if it's creating anything maybe it's creating under deep no I have nothing so nope so I'm just gonna let it run for just a couple minutes as soon as it's done we'll uh, come back and reshow the video but that's kind of how you use the arm templates uh, this one is a little bit surprising, but for me, for every other ARM template, that's pretty much what you would be doing. You will go GitHub, uh, click on something, and then it like, looks like this everything is done. So just verify, uh, just going to the resource group, that uh, if I have a key vault or not. In here, I do not have a key fault. So most likely what they are saying that yeah we have it then you can configure this with a key vault maybe. So it did deploy a Windows VM so it's successful but not exactly what I was expecting out of this key vault. Alright, uh, maybe I have done something or if you guys know if there's anything that I missed please leave a comment on this one uh, because this is a little surprising to me. Or uh, If not at least you have learned how to use the ARM template and how to deploy a Windows simple virtual machine in this video. Alright, thank you. Have fun.